Welcome to this lecture on the design of overall dimensions of transformers. In this lecture, we will discuss how to calculate the overall dimensions, that is, overall width and overall height of different types of transformers, both core type and shell type. First, let's consider the case of a single phase core type transformer. Here, uh, we have two different diagrams. On the first, uh, on the left side, we can see a three-dimensional view of a single-phase core type transformer. And on the right side, uh, there are uh, two figures. Uh, on the top, this one is the uh, longitudinal view or side view of a uh, single phase core type transformer and on the bottom uh, is the top view of a single phase core type transformer. This is in order to understand the different parameters or different dimensions of this uh, transformer. Let's um, see which are the important parameters. The first term is small letter a that is width of largest stamping uh, as we can see on the uh, top view the transformer is having a cruciform core and uh, that means a two stepped core that means it will be having two types of laminations one having this much of width and the other having this much of width so this is the largest stamping and that dimension is uh, denoted as A. Okay. So A is the width of largest stamping and small letter D is the diameter of circumscribing circle. Circumscribing circle is the uh, circle which is drawn uh, around the uh, transformer core which touches all the corners of the uh, transformer core. Here it is a cruciform core. So it, this circle touches all the corners of the cruciform core. And uh, that is D. And capital D is the distance between centers of adjacent limbs. So this is the center of first limb. That is this. This is the center of first limb and this is the center of second limb. So the, this is the distance between adjacent limbs. So it is shown on the top view. You can see this is distance between adjacent limbs. So centers of limbs are marked and uh, the distance between the core centers are also marked. Capital D. Then WW is the width of window. Width of window is also shown in this figure. This is width of window. And width of window is this is the dimension the, from this point to this point. Okay. This is the width of window. Okay. Then capital W is the height of window. Height of window. This this in fact this is the window of the transformer. Available window space is this. This is the window of the transformer. And the dimensions of the window are width of window, WW and height of window. So here this is the height of window. Height of window. Then height of yoke. Height of yoke is can be seen here. This, this portion is known as yoke. This portion is known as yoke. This is the yoke portion of the transformer. This is the yoke. Okay, this is the yoke of the transformer and on the uh, figure, on this figure, we, we can see on the left hand side, 3D view can be seen and here also we can see the height of yoke. This is the height of yoke. Okay, similarly, this is the height of yoke. Then capital H is the uh, overall height of Transformer. Capital H is the overall height of transformer. Overall height of transformer means height of window plus height of yoke plus height of yoke. Because the um, yoke is present on 
both top and bottom portion of the transformer. So height of yoke plus height of yoke plus height of window will give you the overall height of transformer. These are the uh, important dimensions of a transformer. There are some other terms too that we will uh, see later. Next, uh, let's see how the um, dimension, the other dimension of yoke, that is depth of yoke is calculated. Depth of yoke means we have seen the height of yoke. Earlier, we have seen the height of yoke and this is the depth of yoke. This dimension is known as the depth of yoke. Okay, so uh, the cross-sectional area of yoke is equal to area of yoke is equal to height of yoke into depth of yoke. So depth of yoke will be equal to small letter a because depth of yoke is decided by the uh, width of largest stamping. This is the width of largest stamping in the case of a cruciform core. So this, this will be equal to a and that value will decide the value of dy, depth of yoke. That's why we say that dy is equal to a, width of largest step. Next, let's write the um, equations to find the different dimensions. First, capital D, that is distance between adjacent limbs or centers of adjacent limbs. These are the centers of adjacent limbs and this is the distance between adjacent limbs, capital D. That is equal to width of window that is this is the width of window distance between these two points plus capital D diameter of circumscribing circle this is the diameter of circumscribing circle this is the diameter of circumscribing circle so uh, half of the diameter of circumscribing circle will be this this is D by 2 and this is also this is the center of core so this is the value of d by 2 so d by 2 plus d by 2 plus width of window ww will give you the distance between the centers of core this is the distance between the centers of core capital d equal to ww plus d by 2 plus d by 2 that is d Next is depth of yoke is equal to a. That, uh, a. that is that we have already uh, discussed. Then capital H is equal to capital H is overall height is equal to height of window plus two times height of yoke. Then capital W that is overall width overall width of transformer that is overall width of width of the transformer. Uh, frame or overall width of transformer or frame that is W is equal to capital D plus A. Let's see how it comes. Capital W, this is the ca dimension capital W that is equal to uh, capital D. This is capital D. This distance will give you capital D. This distance will give you capital D. Okay, this is capital D. Capital D plus A by 2 plus A by 2. Okay, capital D plus A by 2 plus A by 2 will give you W. That is D plus A. Then we will write the width over two limbs and winding. Earlier we had written we have we had written the um, width over two limbs only. Width over two limbs was d plus a. Here the width over two limbs and winding. That is we have to consider the uh, space for winding also. So this much. This is the overall width over two limbs over winding. That is capital D plus outer diameter of high voltage winding capital D this is capital D and this is capital D plus overall diameter of outer high voltage winding 
uh, outer winding is the high voltage winding so overall diameter of high voltage winding that is the concept next we will write the equation similar equations are there for three phase core type transformer also here the dimensions related to height uh, will be the same there is no change for equations for height but uh, the equation for width will be slightly changing because it is having three limbs but we define the value of capital D as the distance between adjacent limbs this is capital D even though it is having three limbs distance between adjacent limbs is equal to capital D so we have to consider the uh, all the three limbs in order to calculate the width so let's see the equations capital uh, D is equal to WW plus D as uh, similar to that of single phase transformer dy is equal to a depth of focus equal to a same same equation capital H is equal to height of window plus 2 plus 2 times height of focus the same equation no change the only equation that changes is capital W capital W is equal to 2d plus a earlier it was d plus a here 2d because here we there are two uh, d have to be considered here also there is another d distance between adjacent uh, limbs so d plus d 2d plus a okay that is uh, overall next let's see the case of a single phase shell type transformer here the uh, shaded po po portion that is the portion that is shaded in yellow color is the uh, frame that is the combination of yoke and coal the iron part and uh, the portion that is shaded in gray color indicates the winding which is uh, present in the window okay let's see the uh, dimensions before uh, discussing the dimensions let's uh, understand structure of a shell type transformer the shell type in shell type transformer there will be three limbs uh, two side limbs one and two and one central limb okay central limb okay so uh, here uh, the side limbs will be having lesser area cross section as compared to the central limb so um, normally we take it as uh, the central limb will be having double the width of that of side limbs that means if the side limb is having a width smaller than a then central limb will be having the width 2a so let's uh, discuss the uh, dimensions first depth of yoke dy is equal to small letter b where small letter b is this dimension you can see the um, see in the uh, top view here a dimension small letter b is shown that is uh, in fact that is equal to the depth of yoke okay. dy is equal to small letter b and one more thing to be noted is that um, unlike the uh, core type transformer shell type transformer is having a rectangular uh, type of core uh, sorry rectangular type of um, winding in case of core type transformers we had circular windings but here the winding is uh, somewhat like a rectangular shape okay then uh, next dimension is height of yoke height of yoke this is height of yoke height of yoke is equal is also equal to a then capital W capital W overall width this is capital W capital W is equal to 2 times width of window that is there are two windows 1 and 2 two windows so 2 times width of window plus 4 times A that is A plus 2A plus A so 4A 2 times width of window this is width of window width of window or here it is shown 2 times width of window uh, plus 4 times A then overall height overall height capital uh, H is equal to height of window plus it, in fact it is 
uh, height of window plus 2 times height of view. You can uh, rewrite it like this. Height of window is equal to, high, uh, sorry, height of, overall height of uh, frame is equal to height of window plus 2 times height of yolk. But normally we take height of yolk as A. Sometimes it's not like that. But normally we take height of yolk is equal to A. So this is the general equation. Height of window plus 2 times height of yolk. Thank you.